Hey everybody and welcome back. This is the final question of the show. If you've just tuned in, we're finishing off a calculus episode of Tenfold Live. For now, we're going to get to the wild card question, which means that all of our calculus for this week is done, or just today is done. Today, our wild card is brought to us by Rapubungali. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, my name is Rapungabugara and I would like assistance with this uh, February March paper two question paper. Um, which is that in a diagram in the diagram LK is a diameter of circle with center P R and S is a tangent to circle at N T is a point on NK and TP perpendicular to KT to KL PLN equals to X and the question that I'm concerned with would I would like assistance with is 11.3.2 Prove that KT times KN equals to T, 2 KT squared minus 2 TP squared. Alrighty guys, this is a Euclidean question and I know a lot of you see Euclidean geometry and you just, you don't love it. So I'm going to try my best to help you guys understand this type of question. Um, the guy who sent in this question, he was struggling with the third part mainly. So I'm going to rush through the first two because they're fairly simple. I'm going to try and help you get this third part that we have to prove. So let's jump right into this question. It says, in the diagram, LK is a diameter of a circle. Okay. That is important. That is implications. With center P, okay, so P here is the center of the circle. R in S is a tangent to the circle at N, which is this point here. And T is a point on NK, and TP is perpendicular to KL. That is a lot of information there. It's just giving you details about the diagram. And lastly, it says that PLN is equal to X, which is this angle over here. Okay. So the first thing it asks us, it says proves that TPLN is a cyclic quad. Okay, guys, the moment you see cyclic quadrilaterals, your theory should immediately jump into your brain. The exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the interior opposite angle, firstly, and interior opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. They add up to 180. So prove one of those relationships and you prove that it's cyclic. So let's look at this. Okay. We're given that this here is 90 degrees. I'm going to try and prove supplementary interior angles. Remember that this is given to us here as a diameter. So that means that the angle opposite the diameter is also 90 degrees. So we can say that N2 is equal to 90 degrees. LK is a diameter. Then we can say that N2 is equal to that angle. Um, LPT because that was given to us as 90 degrees therefore TPLN is cyclic because interior angles opposite angles are supplementary okay next it says prove that triangle KTP is similar to triangle KLN okay so I'm going to work over here. Let's prove that KTP is similar to KLN. OK, so to lay them out, guys, try and establish relationships within these two triangles. So we are working with, let me get rid of all this rubbish. We are working with KTP, which is this little triangle here, and KLN, which is this big triangle over here. Okay, so in these two triangles, KTP, do we see that angle K is common to both of them? Secondly, we know that this angle here is 90 degrees and this angle here is 90 degrees because we just proved that. So angle KPT is equal to angle N2 and we proved that. Lastly, we can say that angle T2 is equal to angle L because of angles in a triangle. Okay, so therefore, triangle KTP is similar to triangle KLN. And you must give a reason. All of these reasons that we've given here are angle related. So it's angle, angle, angle. Okay. 
Now this last question that we have to do here, it says prove that kT multiplied by kN is equal to all of that stuff. Okay, I'm quite severely running out of time with this show guys, so I'm going to run through what you basically need to try and understand when you're given an equation like that. Okay, let me get the equation on the screen. Basically, when you're given a product of two things or two sides and you're trying to prove that it's equal to some or other stuff, they're basically trying to test whether or not you can apply the similarity you've just proved. Okay, so if you prove that this triangle is similar to this triangle, they're trying to get you to use the ratios that that similarity implies. You know, because when you have two similar triangles, this side is in proportion to this side, that side to that side, etc. Okay, so when you have a question like this, I'm really not going to have time to go through it, guys, unfortunately. But when you have a question like this, try to manipulate the ratios so that you have this side over this side is equal to this side over this side. If you cross multiply, that's when you can say this side multiplied by this side gives us other stuff. Also, I'm going to say in this triangle, or in these triangles, we've been given a lot of 90 degrees. So if you see squares of sides, try and use Pythagoras, because the moment you have 90 degrees in a triangle, you can implement squares of sides because of Pythagoras. So unfortunately, I'm not going to have enough time to address this question. We will try and address it on maybe WhatsApp or Facebook. But yeah, for now, guys, that's all for this show. Calculus is coming to an end this week. Remember, guys, send in your videos for analytical geometry. We want to give, another way, give away another TV. Remember, Harold won a TV just by sending in a question. So please, guys, send in your questions. That's it for this another live show brought to you by Liberty. We will be back tomorrow, same time, same place. So stay tuned.